What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 3 of tutorial series on deploying a Flask application on Amazon ECS using Farget. In the previous tutorial, we had created Docker container images for Flask application as well as Nginx web server. And now in this tutorial, we will set up AWS CLI version 2 followed by the creation of the IAM role with the required permission to push the images to Amazon Elastic Container Registry. So here we will use AWS CLI to push the images and to successfully push the images, the instance will require necessary permission. Hence, we will create and attach the IAM role, right? So I have already logged in into the EC2 instance, right? So let's say clear. So there are two versions. The updated one is AWS version 2. Though AWS version 1 supports the uh, commands that is used to or that are used to push the images to the ECR, right? But it's recommended that go for AWS version 2, right? So let's get started. So here we are going to use curl command to download the file from the given URL. So that's going to be curl. So I have this URL over here. followed by the URL hyphen O AWS CLI version 2 dot zip. So hyphen O depicts that with which name you want to save this file, right? So uh, that's what hyphen O parameter does. Enter. So the file is downloaded if I do ls. So we have this AWS CLI version 2.zip, right? So now we are going to unzip that file. So if I type in unzip, so we don't have unzip install, so we have to install it. So sudo apt install unzip. Now we will do unzip. AWS CLI version 2.zip and it has successfully extracted the content within AWS directory right now uh, we will install it so that's going to be dot forward slash AWS that's the directory path within that install enter so we have to add sudo over here. So it is installed now. So if I do AWS hyphen hyphen version, then it will say AWS CLI slash 2.0.4, right? So that's the uh, version two of AWS CLI, right? So now we have successfully installed AWS CLI. Now we will go ahead and create the IAM role that is required to push the image to the ECR, right? So the another thing we can do is that we can uh, generate the access key and the secret key and configure over here, but that's not the good idea. It's the good idea to configure the IAM role and attach it with the instance, right? So we are going to follow that. So navigate to EC2 management console, click on services, go to IAM management console. So once you are within IAM management console, click on roles from the left panel, say create role. Now here we will select EC2 as a service because we are creating this role for an EC2 instance. Next permissions. Now here uh, we will provide EC2 container. Let's search for that. So here we will say EC2 container registry full access. So this policy will give the right permission to the EC2 instance for writing an image to the ECR, right? So that's it. Click on next tags. Next review. Give it a name. I will say C2 underscore ECR permission and say create rule.
Now once the role is created, go back to EC2 management console, select the instance, click on actions. Within instance settings, click on attach or replace IAM role. Now here select the role that we have just created. Here we go, EC2 ECR permission, say apply and close, right? So well, that's it for this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, we will push the Docker container images to the repository we had created in part one of this tutorial series, right? So that's it. And until that time, if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service, then please leave them below. And I will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible. And if you have any queries or comments, then again, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time.